ヨーロッパには自分らしいライフスタイルを追い求めてきた人々の多様で個性的な暮らしが息づいています今日はイギリスを拠点に幅広い音楽活動を続けるロックミュージシャンゲイリー・ブルッカーさんの暮らしぶりをご紹介しましょう。パリで人気のライブハウスバタクラン。この日ステージでは。元ローリングストーンズのビル・ワイマン率いるロックバンドのライブリハーサルが行われていましたこのバンドでキーボードを演奏するのはゲイリー・ブルッカーさんイギリスを拠点に活動するロックミュージシャンですゲイリーさんはソロアーティストとして曲を発表する傍ら元ビートルズのリンゴスターやエリック・クラフトンなどさまざまなバンドのキーボードプレーヤーとしても活躍してきました現在はビル・ワイマンとともにヨーロッパ全土でコンサートを行っていますいい実はゲイリー・ブルッカーさんは60年代の名曲「青い影」のボーカリストとしても知られています1968年、プロコルハルムというバンドを結成したゲイリーさんは、デビュー曲、青い影を自ら作曲、クラシックとロックを融合させたこの曲は、世界中で大ヒットを収めましたこの曲で、ゲイリーさんは一躍、ロック界のスターダムにのし上がったのです。Understand what a millstone round your neck or anything, it's a pleasure, and it's just、uh, you know, it's one of those lucky things to have something like that. ロンドンドから南西におよそ60キロここに人口わずか1000人ほどのダンズフォールドの村がありますほとんどの人が牛や羊を飼い農業で暮らしを立てている静かな農村ですゲイリーさんは現在この村で暮らしています1971年ロンドンから移り住みました当時ゲイリーさんはバンドの仲間の脱退などで音楽の方向性を見直すことを余儀なくされていましたそんな時レコーディングでたまたま訪れたのがこの村の近くでしたゲイリーさんがそこで見たのは豊かな自然と人々の生き生きとした暮らしでしたゲイリーさんにとってこの村は自分の音楽に新しい何かを与えてくれるという予感に満ちていたといいます現在ゲイリーさんは妻のフランキーさんと共に6000坪の土地に犬3匹ヤギ5頭と共に暮らしています
Blue? Yeah, Blue. On the account of she's not blue. Maggie. Maggie for magpie. For, or Maggie Thatcher. Oh. Oh, you wicked thing. They're friendly goats. They're just really nice. Water goes off. I mean, we get power cuts. We just light the candles. Yeah. Cook it, make a fire. Cook That's some right. baked potatoes. Yeah. If you like shopping all day, then London's the best place to live. But if you don't want to go shopping all day and you want a nice quality of life, then you've only got to walk out the back door here and uh, everything's nice. Well, you've got fresh air for a start. You've got beautiful view, no building, nobody, just us. Animals, which is great. The quality of life is much better here. ゲイリーさんはこの村に移り住み、一つの趣味を覚えました。糸と鳥の羽を使ってギジエを作り、それを虫に見せかけて魚を釣るフライフィッシングです。ギジエはすべてゲイリーさんの手作りで、自分で
quite uh, special. Music's always been fun. That's the thing about it, that I was lucky enough that I was doing something when I was much younger, you know, even at school. I liked playing music, and I liked singing and playing rock and roll and blues or anything. And one day I found that I was making a living out of it. You know, I tried to be uh, a pilot and a chemist and everything when I was at school, but uh, I can remember when I took my exams, I was walking home at 3 o'clock in the morning from playing a gig somewhere in a club, and I was reading my books trying for the exams. <laughs> so I could try and do something, but nothing else to do. Hello. No, I haven't had one take. I've not had one take. Hi there. I'm hungry. Where's your game? Well, I've got no fish. There he is. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> you brought me luck. <laughs> well, the wife brings one luck. Trout. Rainbow trout. It's not a pike. It's a beauty. Ah. There he comes. Yes. There you are. Beautiful fish. Beauty. He's fat. Beautiful. Fat trout. The reason we caught that fish there, I think, there's a few reasons. One is I actually changed the line so that the fly was much deeper in the water. That's one reason, but the main reason, of course, is because my wife just walked up and I was showing off. <laughs> That's the reason. Yes. Which is yours? コンサートで家を開けることが多いゲイリーさん夫婦が円満に暮らす秘訣はできるだけ多く会話をすることだと言いますイナカゴラシを始めたゲイリーさんには、釣り場の他にもう一つお気に入りの場所があります。パブです。パブはいわば村の社交場で、パブのオーナーや友人たちとその日に釣った魚の自慢話などを語り合えるからです。<笑> Uh, small one. Small one. For four, your supper. Four pound one, yeah. Oh, that's not too bad then. Oh. Deserve that. Well, I see. You can't beat a nice pint of beer. Well, pubs, certainly out in the countryside here, are places, yeah, they're social places. You come here to meet people, you come here to take the Mickey out the landlord. Oh, yes. And he takes yeah. the Mickey out of you. That's right. Uh, and we all have a thoroughly good time.
No, but it's not just in here for the beer. I mean, it's very fine beer, though. Oh, yes. But uh, we're here for the company. Yes, the pub's about 500 years old. Um, we've been here 16 years. I thought you were going to say 400. <laughs> no, no, we haven't been here 400. <laughs> well, he's yeah, one of the first. That looks really well, nice. Balloon. And it's actually his balloon that's just packed in. ゲイリーさんはバンドでの活動のほかに自ら企画したチャリティーコンサートを年に数回開いています地元の仲間たちと協力し合い地域の病院や障害者の施設にコンサートで集めたお金を寄付しているのです10年ほど前友人の子供が通っている学校にプールがないことを知ったゲイリーさんがプールの建設資金を集めようとコンサートを開いたのがきっかけでしたそれ以来地域のために役立てばと毎年コンサートを続けています今日ゲイリーさんが訪れるのは地元の仲間の一人ピーター・ハットリーさんの家です次のチャリティーコンサートの PR に来たのです Guildford Civic this year, so. Oh, really? really? If you can, uh, well, if you know, you know, I think children always enjoy going, and yes, anybody do. you think of. It's a marvelous performance because it's just before Christmas and it's very, all very friendly and intimate, what you might call relaxed. Yeah, it's relaxed. Although I know all these people. The idea, I think, really, at the end of the day, especially with music, is that. To have a really good night's entertainment and everybody's happy, they've paid their ticket price, we've given our services and organised it, and everybody's happy. And you could also make somebody that's a bit less fortunate happy or more comfortable. The first time, the Mura no Pub was a very good charity concert, and the year was a very good concert. 今年は隣町のギルフォードにあるホールで1500人の観客を集めてコンサートを行いますチャリティーコンサートを一月後に控えたこの日ゲイリーさんはコンサートホールでのスタッフ打ち合わせにやってきましたAnd yeah, I think it, it, it charges up the batteries as well. Just go sleep. Turn the wire. 